Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. So today we're going to take a look at the Yorkville FS301 all metal footrest for classical guitar. It's actually not for classical guitar. I don't know why they say that. If you've got a guitar, electric, acoustic, doesn't matter. You need some extra foot height um, to sit more comfortably. You need one of these things. And I've been looking at them for quite a while actually. Um, more for students than myself, but even for myself could be a benefit because I like to sit on the stool once in a while and it's kind of uncomfortable um, sitting on a stool when you've got your leg perched up like this so it can be a bit of a pain sometimes a little bit uncomfortable on the bottom of the foot but when you've got one of these things set it for the height that you need it at slam her down on the floor now normally you'd be kind of up like this, which is which is pretty good, you know. But if you've got this foot thing, it allows your whole body to relax a lot better, right? And you can still sit up pretty straight in your chair or in this case the stool, you know. Because to, to sit on the stool and have my feet on the floor, the stool is a little on the tall side, right? So get one of these things and you can kick one foot up on your stool and then have your other foot on this little uh, footrest thing. So anyways, like I said, I've been looking at them for a long time. And uh, I was looking at places like Banggood and a few other places in China that carry these things for relatively a good cheap price. And they're, they're all the same design factor. Uh, the only difference being is I've, I've seen the, the one in, uh, in China, Banggood, there's like little rivets that hold this pad down in place. Now this is probably nothing more than a sticky pad, which is fine, but it's on there good and solid for years and years and years and years and years of durability, right? Um, but uh, I, I think, I don't know, but I think that the pad might be a little thinner uh, for the rubber part on the ones in China. I don't know for 100% for because I don't have one in front of me to, to compare against. Maybe I'll have to order one just to compare. Uh, but this thing cost me uh, 18, yeah, $18.99 at Long and McQuaid and because uh, I was in there yesterday and I thought, well, they've, they've had this one hanging around in the shop for a while and I thought, I really could use one, you know, more for the students than for me. Um, some of the students I'm teaching right now are kids and of course even sitting on a chair like I am now they tend to want to kick their feet up which throws the whole body off balance right they want to kick their feet up on the bar down below because uh, their feet are their legs are too short right this is definitely going to solve that problem because i was actually using a, a little platform thing i had but now it's in use for something else so it's like well you know it, it'll work for me too that's the thing you know because i like i like the comfort of sitting on the stool or on the chair, but I, I really like to have my foot kicked up regardless for a little bit more comfort. And it takes a lot of pressure off the back of your spine at the same time, so you can sit there and play a lot longer, right? So these are definitely a really good investment. So, you know, I mean, the, the one at Bang Good right now, it's, uh, you're looking at about 15 bucks. So 14.62 Canadian. Um, that's with free shipping. Now that's a good savings and you're not paying tax and all that other jazz. If you want to get it quicker in five to eight business days, they want like 1060 for the shipping. So that would knock you up more than what you're going to pay for the Yorkville one in Canada. Or of course, if you live in the US and so on, you know, you see these things and you probably get them pretty cheap. But in looking at the one at Banggood, just visualizing in the picture here, it looks like the rubber is probably a little thinner. Um, it also, well, it looks like the frame is going to be pretty much about the same, same as the legs. But like I said, it's hard to say without having one in front of me, you know. Um, the feet are definitely different on this. I actually like the feet uh, on this one better, um, you know. But uh, the funny thing is, is this is made in China too, you know. Uh, and it's totally different, but you know, it's whoever they get to make them, I guess. Um, now let's take a quick look at AliExpress and see what they ask for. 
Now I know anything with AliExpress, most of the stuff is a lot longer shipping time, but it depends. So at AliExpress, you're looking at, well, for the similar, well, the same one that China has, uh, Banggood, you're still looking at 1343 Canadian, um, and you're looking at shipping charges of about six dollars from the looks of things. Let's translate this to English, that would help. Okay, yeah, you're still looking, um, even at paying for shipping would be 598 you're looking at 35 39 to 59 business days that's ridiculous um, you can get it DHL shipped for 7 to 16 days for $39 so let's take this as a lesson some things just buy it in your own country and you could even get a little bit better quality too at the same time um, but I'm sure there's a lot of other places too you can get these They've got a uh, another one here they want $21 for, like, you know, AliExpress, conglomerate of different sellers. One's got a yellow pad on the top, like, who cares about the color? They got one made out of all wood for $31. I guess, well, you know, I kind of like the steel thing myself. Um, what else they got on their site here? Uh, they got a little bit more of a deluxe model. Um... And, well, that, that looks a little more reasonable. Let's, uh, so $5.91 and $13.23 for shipping. Just the opposite. And, uh, looks to be, it, well, it is a little different style on the feet down below. Um, it actually looks a little cheaper built. Um, does have a nice rubber foot pad though that's peened on um, but otherwise yeah so I, I would probably suggest that if you're looking for a guitar foot rest um, unless you live in China or close enough to it where you can take advantage and get a really sick ass deal um, I would just go to like your local music store and you know I mean in Canada these are like 19 bucks before tax so in the US you're a few dollars cheaper I would probably just do it that way. And uh, Yorkville is is well made stuff. I have a lot of Yorkville products and uh, I really like their stuff, you know. Uh, so it is kind of worth sometimes paying a little bit more. Um, but in this case you're going to pay uh, less and get more. So sometimes you can shop actually locally and uh, pay less and uh, actually get more for your dollar in that sense. So this is why you always shop around, always shop around and look for stuff, um, you know. But um, anyhow, so there's the lowest point there. That'd be your lowest. And then you've got this bar here with a bunch of notches. And this would be your highest position cut out. So, you know, it can get quite high. Uh, I, I have no problems with it even at a medium level sitting on the stool, so that, that's actually pretty good. But uh, I would definitely give, as far as quality and craftsmanship goes, that sort of jazz, functionality, you know, strength, it is all steel. Um, I'd definitely give this an easy four and a half out of five. You know, nothing is ever perfect though. Um, however, I will say this I do like the idea of having. Um, the rivets down in here um, I think that would be you know even more durability in in some ways but in other ways I mean when age happens even to rubber rubber will shrink with age um, that can pull away from those uh, rivets and then it self destructs at that point but I mean you're talking like years and 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 years before that's gonna happen um, so in the meantime, this, you know, stick on is basically what this is. Um, it's going to be fine. I, I don't see any real big issue with that. Uh, so that is just kind of like a little pet peeve. But either way, nothing's perfect. And uh, in comparison this to the ones at AliExpress and Banggood, um, 
these feet are actually a lot better design down below the rubber feet uh, I like that design better and uh, you know you can feel the weight of this this has got a bit of weight so that's definitely a quality built piece even looking at the way it's uh, built on the inside how they've done this and put it together it's a quality built piece anyways guys so nineteen dollars uh, Canadian at Long McQuaid so if you're in Canada check out Long McQuaid for this check out your own local music store see what they're charging the Long McQuaid does charge $18.99 and I am finding more and more in comparison Long McQuaid with other music stores there's a lot of stuff that Long McQuaid is definitely the cheapest price on okay um, and of course other stuff you know not so much but I can get it cheaper elsewhere it's a matter of well then I gotta pay shipping so is it really cheaper and this is what people don't think about mentally is oh I'm gonna save like you know ten dollars on this and instead of going to this place but then you don't consider the fact you pay shipping that's all part of your cost in a in a product you know is paying the shipping too if there's shipping to pay uh, not to mention time you have to wait so sometimes yeah pays to buy local anyways thanks very much catch you later and uh see you in the next vid